Welcome to the Control-M video series. This video is on how to configure the usage reporting tool to connect to Oracle Rack. So we've already installed the usage reporting tool and it's under the 9 installation. We can see it here. We can also see that there's an 8 installation with some clients, but we always want to use the latest version of what we have. So we'll come back down to this usage utility and we want to right click and run it with administrator so we run it with as many writes as we as we need all right that'll bring up a pop-up window the applications written in Java uh, be sure to read the intro text here and as soon as you're ready hit next and this is the default structure of it and you can see that uh, it has environment name and then database type host port, user, password, and database. Since Oracle has a different type of connection, a different we need a different define a connection string for it. And here's an example of the string. It's a JDBC connection. Uh, it mentions Oracle and JDBC. It also has the host name, the port, and the database name in it. And we can't enter this in until we go change some configurations. So start up Notepad, run it as administrator, and there's a file that we need to open. Uh, change it to star.star .star so we can get it. Its name of it's config.ini, and it's in the directory where the usage tool is installed under the data directory. So open that file, and there's two values in there, and external connect string yes needs to be in there. If you don't put external connect string yes, then you can't hand type a connection in there. So make sure you save this and then go back to the GUI when we need to stop it and restart it. Change the configuration. Make sure we get the configuration changes. Be sure to run it as administrator again. I hit next to get to the next panel. So we'll need to add. And in the environment, what we want to do is put the string in that has JDBC, Oracle, thin client, and then the at sign, two slashes, the host name and port of the database server, slash and the database server and the database name of the database, sorry. So we want to paste that in the environment. We want to make the database type Oracle. We want to put the host name in just as a backup. And we want to put the port number in, 1521. And then enter the database username and the database password. The last field is not required. You don't have to put it in there, but we always suggest that you put it in there. So let's hit next. This is going to test our connection. So the connection was successful. Uh, just to show what will happen if you get a piece of information that's wrong, we'll go back and we'll change the password to an in incorrect password. Hit next. And now the check is unsuccessful. So we'll go back and change it back to the correct password. Hit next again. So we'll connect. Now when we hit next, we get our information. So now it's gone and gathered the information. We can look at it and see what's in there and look at the values that are in there. Now that we have the information, we hit send report at the bottom. This brings up an email template. And you can see that it attached in a zip format the data that we have. Feel free to open it and look and verify exactly what it's sending. There it is. So then you can uh, forward this and put the BMC software licensing uh, email in there that you have. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for your time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that you found it useful. Please see our additional videos on our YouTube channel and search for our knowledge in our knowledge base. Thank you.